Hi guys, I'm Nuni with the Helping Hand Stylist. Um, it is that time of the year where you require to learn the property of the hair and scalp. Um, my book is the uh, Milady, um, Milady Standard Cosmetology 2008 edition, but with the other edition, it's very similar because they haven't changed much. And so, if you guys can follow through with me. And I have come up with some ideas how to remember some of these words um, that would help you for your class test, class test and state board. If you want to copy down the information on this lecture, just click on the word about and more. Um, and you can copy and paste down to your Word document and print it out and study for later things. Um, so the word tri triology, it means the study of the hair. And the structure of the hair is consists of the hair root and hair shaft. So the hair root is the part of the hair that located below the surface of the scalp. So anything that's under the scalp here. Um, and the, it consists of the follicle. It's the tube-like depression or pocket or um, in the skin or scalp. So how I think of it is like falling into a tube. So it has tube-like. So hair bulb is the lowest area of the hair strand. It has club shape. So the bulb of a flower has a club shape. And when planting the bulb, the lowest part goes in the ground first. And the word derma papilla, it's a small cone shape um, area at the base of the hair follicle. It contains blood and supply nutrients to the hair. So the word papa gives children food or nutrients. And the word erecta pili, it's a tiny involuntary muscle that makes the hair strand stand straight up and result in goosebumps. So the, the word erecta, it means something that makes something stand straight up. And the word suspicious gland, it means oil gland. And the sebum is the oil substance. So next section is the hair shaft. It's the hair that project above the skin. So like Anything that you can see here is the hair shaft. So the word cuticle, it's the outermost layer of the hair. And the cortex is the middle layer of hair. It's the fibrosis protein core, so core for cortex. Medulla is the innermost layer. So next section is the chemical composition of the hair. So the hair has... Um, chemical composition element called the cohen, so it's C-O-H-N-S, element. So C for carbon, O for oxygen, H for hydrogen, N for nitrogen, S for sulfur. So carbon, it, um, all living things have carbon, and it, therefore it has the most amount, it's 51%. And oxygen, human needs Oxygen to live, therefore, it's the most amount is 21%. Hydrogen is, has 6%. Nitrogen it has 17%. Sulfur has 5%. So how I think of that, sulfur, it smells like rotten eggs, which smell like fart. But we don't need to fart uh, in, we don't need to part, fart in public, which make it um, because it's unsanitary or it's um, not professional to fart in public, so therefore it's the least amount, so it has 5%. Or you can remember it by um, just write it in order. So just remember the number 5121-6175. So it ended with a 1 all the time, if you can see the rhythmic there. So the word amino acid, it means the proteins are Proteins are made of long chain, and the poly, uh, I'm sorry, the peptide bonds, peptide bonds or end bonds, it means that the bonds that link amino acids. And the word polypeptide, 
It means long chain of amino acid. So the word poly means many or long. And the side bond of the cortex is are made out of the polypeptide chain. And so the side bond, there are three types of side bond, hydrogen bond, salt bond, and disulfate bond. So the hydrogen bonds is the weak physical bond uh, that are broken that are broken by water or heat. So how I think of the H2O, it means water. So so hydrogen, H2O, um, so hydrogen bonds are broken by water. And the salt bonds are the weak temporary side bond between a between a adjacent poly peptide chain are broken by strong alkaline or acidic solution. So like when you bleach your hair or when you color your hair, that means you change the level of alkaline or acidic solution in your hair. So when you color your hair or bleach your hair, that means you're breaking the salt bond. And the disulfate bonds, it means the chemical side bond are broken by chemical texture. So like you can break it down with relaxer, um, with a perm. So with a perm, you do both. You break with um, salt bond, a hydrogen bond, and physical bond because you're wrapping it. But basically, um, and you break it with um, disulfate bond because you're putting the perm solution on. So disulfate bond, I, how I think is that the word di means two. So two sulfur, so you have to break it with chemical. So two sulfur breaking with disulfate break with chemical. Okay. So the hair pigment, it means the melanin, the hair pigment in the cortex. So there are two types of hair, hair melanin. EU melanin, it means brown and black color to the hair. And pheo melanin, it means the red and red and ginger to yellow or blonde tone. So how I think of it, a phoenix has a range of colors from red to yellow. So pheno, yellow, and red tone. The wave pattern, it just refers to the shape of the hair strand and it's described as straight, wavy, or curly, or extremely curly. Next section, we're doing the hair analysis. So the uh, hair texture is the thickness or the diameter or the feel of the individual hair. It classifies as coarse, medium, or fine. Hair density is the number of strands on one square inches. So density, how thick it is, I mean, they're the number of thickness, you know. So hair porosity is the ability to absorb moisture. It classifies low average or high. Hair elasticity is the ability to stretch and return to its original length. Hair growth is important when shaping and styling hair. Um, the hair stream is the hair that flow in the same direction. The water, so how I think of that is that water stream flow in one in the same direction. And the whirl is the hair flowing in the same, I'm oh, sorry, whirl is the hair that forms in a circular pattern. So whirl like a circle. Cowlick is a turf of hair that stands straight up. How I remember that is got a lick by a cow, your hair would stand straight up. So next section we will do is the hair growth. There are two types of hair on a body. Bellness, it means the naluga. Uh, it's the Luga hair is short and fine and downy. So Venus, fine and clear. So, and terminal hair are the long hair on the scalp, legs, arms, and body. So terminal, it has pigmented. So the growth of growth cycle of the hair, how I think of that is taking my ACT test in high school. So antigen is the growth phase new hair is produced and catagen is the transitional period between growth and resting phase 
telogen is the resting face. So next session is the hair loss. So the word alopecia is mean abnormal hair loss. So anagenic alopecia, it means genetic age or, and hormones. So genic means to make or create, but how I think of that is the word genic related to genetic. So you lost your hair by because you're genetic. So alopecia areata, it means hair falling out in round patches or baldness. So areata, it means area, um, another word for patches. So postpartum alopecia, so hair loss after pregnancy. The word postpartum, it means after giving birth. So the hair loss treatments that are approved by the FDA are minodrill uh, and thacendrite. Minodrill, it means um, tropical. You apply on the surface of the body. It's made it, it's a medicated. Um, apply twice a day. And thacendrite, it means oral prescription for men only. More effective. So how I think of that is need help for hair growth, for hair growth faster, then take it orally with thin and straight, faster, thin and straight. So the next section is the disorder of the hair. Candice, it means gray hair, so cannibal eating. So Candice, uh, Candice it means hair eating away, pigment leaving gray hair. And ring hair is alternating bands or of gray and pigmented hair. So ring is similar to a band. So hypertrichosis or history, it means abnormal growth of hair. So hyper, it means excessive or more of. So abnormal, it means more of hair growth. Um, trichotilosis. It means split in. So the word chop means split. So trichohexis, no dosa. It means knotted hair gets brittleness and swelling along the hair shaft. So no dosa, it means knotted. So monitrix, it means beaded hair. So when I was in high school, there's a girl named Molly, and she wears this crazy beaded jewelry. So Molly beaded hair. <laughs> so I mean Molly beaded, you know, beaded jewelry. So fragile, um, sorry, uh, fragitititis, uh, canyum, canyum, uh, so it means brittle hair. So fragile, it means easy to break, brittle. So the disorder of the scalp uh, is the um, pizzeriasis, it means dandruff, and the next word is pizzeriasis can cantus simplex, it means scalp irritation flakes, I mean large flakes, so the word captus, it means large, and pizzeriasis sim sim symptosis, it means accumulating of greasy or wax scalp scales. So stimulosis, stimulosis, it means oil. So tia, it means fungal, in, fungal infection, or it means ringworm. I have a classmate named Tina who just got engaged, and she got a ring. So Tina, ringworm, ring. <laughs> she got a ring, uh, you know. So Okay, so the next word is tia captus. It means red patules or spot at the opening of the hair follicle. Tia fibrosis, it means dry, sulfur, yellow, cup-like crust. Fibosa, it means yellow. So fibosa, how I think of that yellow flavor. So fibosa, yellow, sulfur. Um, sulfur yellow or that's how you remember. Scabies, it caused by parasite called mites. 
and pediaculosis cactus. It means head lice. Cactus, it means top or head. So you should remember this word uh, for head lice. I think it's on state board and on your test. And um, for furuncle, it means a boil is an acute localized bacteria infecting of the hair follicle. How I think of this word is um, the word furuncle. So for your uncle, because he's boiling over because you did something to make him so mad, you know, so for your uncle, boil over. Carbuncle, it means inflammation of the sub subcutaneous tissue. So how I remember this is um, car is larger than fur. So the size of a carbuncle is larger than a furuncle because car is larger than a fur. So, okay, good luck studying.